happening now. The Alabama Strawberry Festival is underway in Coleman. It's celebrating one of the state's biggest harvests. And News 19's Tamika Alexander and Ben Huber have been out in Coleman all day. Ben, Tamika, what have you guys been up to and what's going on right now? Looks like the rain has cleared. That's right, Lauren, the rain is clear, and I'm at one of my favorite places at this year's Strawberry Festival. I'm between the food, the music, the children's <laughs> game, and the vendors, so we are having a great time. The you rain have is the gone. Food. I have. We I'm have not going to confirm or deny I have partaken in my portion mm. of food at this We've year's festival. The strawberries, some peanut brittle, hamburgers, gyros. <laughs> I'm not saying that correctly, but you get the point. Uh, okay, so on the stage right now, we've got Colin Stowe. Uh, American Idol Yeah, fan. we heard he was like number two, so yeah, I yeah, think yeah. he's a pretty big deal. After Colin, we've got J.D. Clayton, then Matt Stell, and then tonight, the big one, 915, Nico Moon will be taking the stage. And then tomorrow night, Jesse Roper, Cousin Curtis, Casey Tyndall, Eric Hutchinson, Easton Corbin, and the Eli Young Band. The best part about all of this is it is free admission to get in. It's free to listen to the music. Of course, you got to pay for your food and other things like that, but you just find Find a place to park and you come on in and you have a good old time. I think it's safe to say it's something for everyone. If you like strawberries, we had some strawberries. We had fresh strawberries. There's pepper jams and jellies and yep. barbecue sauces. I mean, there's about 80 vendors out here. They're selling something like jewelry and clothes and food. Yep. It's just something for everybody. And we, exactly. And that was that's, that was going to be my point. We've got families here. We've got teeny boppers here hanging out. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, country rockers coming for the the music tonight but it's going all all this evening all the way until uh, I think believe night 10, 9 or, 11, 10, 10 or 11 then tomorrow morning the gates open up at 9 o'clock this year it is a two-day festival they're going big for the Alabama Strawberry Festival we're going to be back though uh, coming up on News 19 at 6 back to y'all